beautiful souls. Welcome to the Rainbow Goddess YouTube channel. I am Rosalie. Today, I will be bringing through a beautiful oracle card reading for each one of you. The deck that I have brought forward is the Sacred Forest Oracle. So get yourself comfortable, grab yourself a cup of tea, or your favorite beverage, and we'll get started. So I am going to light some Palo Santo today and just calling in the purification, the cleansing of Palo Santo to really bless the deck and support each one of you in connecting in with the cards as well. All right, so just feeling and connecting in with Palo Santo, feeling that beautiful cleansing smoke. And we're gonna ask, what is it that we most need to know for those who are tuning in and listening to this video? What are the divine messages that will most support us in our lives, being in the present moment. What are the messages we most need to know? All right, beloveds, I'm just going to shuffle the deck. All right. What is our first card? Beautiful. <laughs> the first card we pulled today is Wolf Spirit Family. This is so beautiful. So what I'm feeling with the wolf spirit is that it's really calling us forward to come together and connect with those who are part of our soul tribe, to call in that family support, to really receive those who can most support us. And as we feel supported, through that connection, they also can feel supported through that connection. So it's really calling in your pack, calling in those who really understand you and those beautiful souls who are here to support you. There's just a lot of energy right now coming through around deepening our connections with those who are for our highest good, those who can really help us grow and evolve and expand, and that you feel a really beautiful heart connection with. And so spirits reminding us to open our hearts, to connect and call in our family, our soul family, and really allow ourselves to shine and be seen so that those of our family can find us. I'm getting the imagery of a wolf howling and how that, you know, using the voice, using the expression and allowing ourselves to be heard is what will draw those who really connect with our medicine and connect with our energy to us as they'll remember it. They'll remember our energy signatures through our voice. It's interesting that's coming through as well. So this is also a reminder to, to not hold back, to not 
be shy as the wolf spirit's really coming through with a lot of encouragement, bravery, and strength to support you on your journey. And so you can call in wolf spirit to help you be fearless in speaking out, speaking your truth, and calling in those who are on this path to walk this journey with you. And so I'm seeing a lot of lone wolves out there, (laughs) a lot of people trying to walk alone on this journey, not remembering or trusting that they have a beautiful pack that is wanting to join them. And so I'm seeing like you're the one in the center that's trying to do it all alone. Meanwhile, you have all of these beautiful companions that really want to walk with you. And so not being afraid to really shine your light and put yourself out there and get yourself out into the world to attract those who remember you on a soul level. And it's beautiful. So wolf spirit is definitely coming through for many of us. And you may even have a guardian that is a wolf that is wanting you to connect deeper with it. Beautiful. All right. What other messages do we need to know? So this card says thicket of thorns, uncertainty. So there's this beautiful woman who's walking into this forest. And she's feeling and sensing that there's a lot about this path that feels very unknown to her. And I sense that many of us are feeling this way. There is a lot of uncertainty arising within the collective, a lot of fear of the unknown, a lot of fear of what could happen, and a lot of feeling as if there's no control, like there's no, there's like nothing we can do. It's like this feeling of keep moving forward but I don't fully know if I can trust what's here for me. And so I'm seeing like this person walking into the woods and just feeling very unsure, very uncertain and very fearful of what's to come, what's waiting just beyond the trees. And so what I'm feeling with this is to remember to call in divine support on the animal kingdom to guide us, to support us and help us, as well as the tree kingdom. So as you see in this card, there's all of these beautiful totems. There's the deer, there's the butterflies, there's the light of the sun, there's the trees. It's reminding us to call upon the forces of nature to guide us and support us through this period that we're moving into. And to deepen that relationship with nature, to deepen that relationship with Mother Earth, because Mother Earth will always show you the highest path and the highest trajectory that is most in alignment with you and your soul and your journey. And so this card is reminding us if we're feeling unclear or uncertain or fearful to disconnect from others and what they're saying, what they're thinking, what they're telling you and connect back into nature itself. As mother nature, the tree people, the stone people, the butterflies, the birds, the animals, as they are very sure of who they are is what I'm hearing. Nature knows who they are the animals, the birds. 
they're so connected to their intuition, through their senses, through their abilities, that they just are. It's like the butterfly knows it's a butterfly and that butterflies just do what butterflies do. <laughs> and there's no confusion, right? And so it's like that reminder to pull back your energy from the the uncertainty within the collective because they're looking for answers outside of themselves from, you know, other people or the news or they're looking for something in their external environment to tell them that everything's going to be okay. But Mother Earth wants you to connect into her and she will support you in really giving you the truth that things are not as terrifying or uncertain as they may seem. And just with the energy of the um, the butterfly, it's just reminding us that we're going through a deeper transformation, but that the deer energy is reminding us to be gentle, to soften, and also to be alert, to listen and tune into our instincts. Because the, the deer, they're very... Good at picking up on potential danger if there is something that feels threatening in their environment, they are able to really pick up on that and take the next step that is going to support them. And so it's also remembering to tune into our own inner knowing our own inner compass and really become clear on who we are and what we believe that is separate from what others are, are telling us all the time or what we're always receiving and being bombarded with from the, the human world. And ultimately, it's just reminding us that the light will guide us, that the light is here casting a beautiful path for us to walk and that there is nothing to fear for there is so much beauty here for us to receive and so much deep growth and transformation and that change is actually really beautiful and positive when we can trust in ourselves and trust in nature to guide us Right, so let's grab another card. Such a beautiful deck. So we got the card, Wise Woman of the Grove, Grace. And there's like this beautiful indigenous woman. And there's a treasure chest full of rubies. <laughs> mm. I'm really picking up on... like connecting with our ancestors and the spirit world through this grandmother energy that's coming through. It's like the wise woman or the wise elder represented through the, the spiritual unseen world, that there's a lot of support that's coming in for all of us, that we have a lot of allies in the spirit world. And I'm actually feeling like this powerful grandmother is like a guardian 
And so I'm feeling many of us are are very are very protected and very loved by not only our ancestors, but the the ancient ones, like the wise grandmothers. There is a beautiful energy of like these wise grandmothers that are really coming in to support in the healing of the collective. And they're coming in to really empower each one of us, each one of you, and feeling strong and within yourself, knowing that you're not alone. And also really connecting into grace, which is the card of speaking on grace. Hmm. And the energy of grace is so powerful because it's like white snow. It's that feeling of that first snowfall when you look out and it's everything is pure and crystalline and, and just gently falling. And grace really helps us to let go of the, the shame and the guilt and the judgment around things that we've done, things that others have done. And through grace, we can heal and release and let go of these painful memories and these painful moments in our experience. And through grace, we can choose love. We can choose the path that will lead us to more peace, to more love, more connection. And then what I'm hearing is, you know, if you're finding there's a conflict in your life arising, the question you may want to ask yourself is, would you rather be right or would you rather have peace? Because as grace tells us, Peace is always the higher choice and will bring forward the greatest rewards. Sometimes we think in the moment being right or making another person wrong or having to fight against something or for something is something we just have to do because we're afraid to be pushed around or we're afraid to be walked on or made to feel little, small, powerless. But through grace, we actually recognize that the more evolved and higher conscious way of moving through something is to let go of the story, to let go of the pain and suffering and the anguish and the conflict and the needing to be right and the needing to defend and all of those things. And grace can show us a path that is more peaceful, more loving, more connected to our divine essence or divinity. And through choosing the path of grace, through choosing the higher path, we free ourselves. We free ourselves from suffering. And there's many people that are learning this lesson right now. Many people are learning to release the conflict, the struggle, and the hardship, and to choose grace. Because for so many generations, we've chosen Hardship, war, fighting, conflict, struggle. But it's like there is a higher way. And it just takes one person choosing grace, choosing love, choosing peace to end the cycles of conflict and war that continue to be perpetuated on this planet. I'm getting the image of in Pocahontas when the two sides were 
getting ready for battle, when you've got the indigenous wanting to fight against the invaders and Pocahontas comes in and her father's about to kill her beloved who is, you know, of the other side that they're fighting against. And she says, stop, father, please. And she protects this man with her life and she inspires her father through her willingness to be brave and to choose love, to put her heart first, inspires him to put down his weapons and to see that this example, this act of love is actually the most powerful force we have. And that when Pocahontas chose love over war, she was able to end the whole battle. That she inspired her father, the chief, to end the fighting and end the battling and not to go through with more, more killing. And it was really beautiful because then the, the wind comes in and it's the spirit of mother, the spirit of um, the wise woman <laughs> that whispers in the chief's ear, reminding him to soften, reminding him that there is another way, that we don't need to choose war, that we can actually evolve beyond it and recognize that the need to be right is not going to provide you with the answers you seek or the, the justice you feel you're going to receive. Yeah, so <laughs> having a little flashback to Pocahontas here. <laughs> but yeah, just reminding us all to really look within our own lives for the hidden jewel, the hidden treasure, the gift that is being presented to you when you choose grace over being right or conflict or fighting, when you can compassionately, unconditionally love someone and forgive them and inspire them to be better through your willingness to love them as they are. And you would be so surprised to really know, see, sense, and remember how powerful love is at healing and transforming. I love that card so much. So much came through with the grandmothers on this one. All right, beloveds. Well, thank you so much for being a part of this this YouTube channel for listening and receiving these messages. I hope you all have the most beautiful day and yeah, leave me a comment down below which card resonated with you. What messages did you receive from this video? All my love to you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.